Hello friends, this is Dr. R.B. Kuswaha, Associate Professor at the VCC Scotch Jammu RS Pura. Welcome to my YouTube channel and if you are new to my channel, so kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for further notification. So today I am going to describe you radiographic feature of dog suffering with the rickets. You could see here, this is the mediolateral view of the radius and ulna, whereas this one is the anterior posterior view or craniocardial. So in this particular radiograph, I am going to tell about the normal radiographic anatomy and then where the abnormality is seen in case of the rickets. So if you see, so this one is the distal end of the humerus bone. So you could see here, so this one is the medial epicondyle and this one is the lateral condyle and this is continuation with the medial condyle. This one is the polycranial process. You could see here, so there is a radiolucent line which indicated that this is the young animal. So if you see here, so this one is the proximal extremity of the radius, this one is the diaphysis of the radius and this one is the diaphysis of the ulna. So here in case of the dog, so here we know that this one is the steroid process, this is the epiphysis and this one is the metaphysis, here this one is the metaphysis and this one is the epiphysis, this one is the epiphysis. We know that by definition rickets is nothing, it is a failure in mineralization of the osteoid tissue that is the matrix so this matrix here we see as a radiolucent line so we also call this is the epiphysial plate physis or growth plate so in case of the rickets when there is a failure of mineralization of this growth plate so what happened it become thickened so from here to here you can see that there is an increase in the thickness of the growth plate similarly here there is an increase in the thickness of the growth plate and you see there is a widening of the distal metaphysis so otherwise normally it would have been like this but here in this case you could see here there is a widening of the metaphysis and because of this widening of the metaphysis you will see there is an enlargement of the distal metaphysis clinically as well so this widening is in a such a shape that it appear as if it is the mushroom so that is why when there is a mushrooming of the distal metaphysis so we say this is a radiographic feature of the rickets you could also say this is a cupping so cupping or mushrooming of the distal metaphysis of the radius and ulna in case of the young animal is suggestive of the rickets and if you see so this mushrooming or cupping of the distal metaphysis it is not very clear here also and here also so it is basically hagi in nature so if you see, so cupping is very clear in case of the anterior posterior view. So here it is not clearly seen but in anterior posterior view you could see here. So here this is the mushrooming or cupping of the distal metaphysis of the radius whereas this one is the cupping or mushrooming of the distal metaphysis of the ulna. And you could see here there is an increase in the thickness of the physis. And if you see, so there is also decrease in the thickness of the cortex also. And there is a mild bending of the bone. So here in the radiograph, this bending is not very obvious. But this much bending is appreciable clinically. So overall for the diagnosis of the rickets by radiograph, we see for the at least four radiographic signs. So first one is enlargement of the distal metaphysis, then cupping or mushrooming of the distal metaphysis, then hagi appearance of the distal metaphysis and there is an increased thickness in the physis. Beside this, so there may or may not be the bending as well as the decrease in the cortical density or thickness of the cortex. So this is all about the radiographic feature of the rickets. So I hope you like this video. Thank you very much.